G'day everyone, here's a quick video I made of me putting a road train together in Bunbury, Western Australia. I'm going to give narrating a uh, bit of a whirl today. It's not something I usually do, but I'll give it a whirl because it's easier than transcribing what I want to say into uh, some subtitles. So we're just looking at me here, backing up to my lead trailer. The one I just dropped was my uh, dog trailer or my rear trailer. Both of these trailers are pretty well empty. Uh, a couple of uh, pallets to return. So as you'll notice when hooking up to this, I just slowly go on under. I stopped just before, raised the airbags up just to get a bit of weight off the legs. Hooked up and then gave it a tug test. Now here's me just doing a quick visual check of the kingpin. Then we're going to put it in fast forward because no one wants to watch me huff and puff and wind some legs. So yeah, that's basically my order when I'm hooking up to a trailer. I hook up, I do a tug test, I visually check the jaws are locked, do the legs and I do the airlines last. After all that's done, try not to fall off the fuel tank climbing down with that step that's inside the tank, take my gloves off before I open the door because I'm not an animal, and reset the right height to the right height with the airbags. After that, little tug test and we're on our way to go get our dolly. And for the same reason I don't open the truck door while wearing my gloves, I'm not an animal. That's the same reason I don't drop my dolly in the trailer parking bays because we are not animals. I know how to reverse. We should all be putting them away in the dolly bays out of the way so everyone's able to use the trailer parking correctly. So anyway, it's pretty straightforward. We just get ourselves a nice straight line. This place has all the room in the world to back up so it's easy. I've got myself a nice little end bay. I'm just Take it steady, back up slowly. This is in fast forward because it's boring watching me creep back very slowly. When backing up, I use the side of the trailer and the dolly mud guards to line myself up. Once I'm close, like I am here, I check the height and check the line by having a look and try to make sure I get it straight. As I am there, I'm probably off a couple of inches, but I'm confident that I'm going to be able to swing that over with the meter or so that I have. All right, so here we go. Me trying to swing over, make that work with that little bit of uh, slightly out of line I got. It was almost there. If I'd backed up a little harder, I might have actually got it, but I don't like to push them too hard, so I actually went back forward and had to take another bite. So there you go. Here's another angle of me on the second bite, coming back and hooking up. And if we're looking at the ring fetter there, you'll notice it's not actually locked all the way in. So it's just taking the leg up get that out of the way because once it drops in it might drop a little bit lower and then that leg gets in the way or gets stuck. I'm trying to lock the handle in that's not working for me so a little trick is release the air out of the uh, dolly there you go I rolled it back a little bit took some pressure off made it easy to drop the handle in and now I'm just hooking up my Susie's I'll turn the supply on but leave the control off the supply puts air in the control is your brakes when you're towing a dolly on its own, we don't turn the control on. If we do that, it will skid and jump everywhere. And now comes the fun part. I'm all hooked up, I've checked everything, and I just line myself up to back up to my dog trailer or my second trailer. I personally like to come on a little bit of an angle, and that just makes it easier for me to see where I'm going, be able to judge the distance between my dolly and the second trailer. And I find if I get a nice little arc, it's easy to control too. So at this point here, I can see I'm almost at the trailer. So I reposition my drone so I can get a better shot. Here we go, look at this. The power of editing and getting the camera angles right. So again, while I repositioned the drone, I also adjusted the legs to make sure that the height was right. The legs are slightly off the ground. I hooked up, I did a little tug test. And just as I do with every trailer, as soon as I've hooked up, done my tug test, I do a visual on the kingpin, make sure it's locked, and then watch me huff and puff, do my legs, and I do something slightly different when it comes to a road train. While I get the uh, Susie's ready to hook onto the second trailer, my first order of business is always to turn the control on, because as I said before, when we're pulling a dolly on its own, we don't have the control, we don't have the brakes turned on, but uh, yeah, if you're not careful or you break your own system, it can be very easy to forget to turn the brakes on on your second trailer. And if you forget that, when it comes to hitting the brakes, 
for stopping quickly. You might stop with your lead trailer, but uh, your second trailer might be sitting next to you at the lights or whatever it is that's caused you to brake heavily. So now at this point, all I've got left to do is basically do a little check, make sure all my electrics are working, flip my road train signs on the rear, and turn my road train signs up at the front, and we're pretty well good to go. While I do a walk around, I usually have a second or third check of everything as well. It never hurts to keep checking. So this has just been a uh, quick description of how I personally put a road train together. Maybe other people do it a little bit different. There's nothing wrong with it. There's uh, many ways it can be done, but this is how I personally do it. If there's anything you'd like to see that's more specific or something that uh, you're wondering about, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe out there on our roads.